Good evening and welcome to Cronkite News. I'm Sonny Scott. And I'm Megan Thompson. Thanks for joining us. Nine days and counting, the tax deadline is looming. Tonight, we're taking a comprehensive look at changes to tax policy and potential pitfalls for taxpayers. Cronkite News reporter Sierra Oshran is live in Washington with a warning from the IRS. The Treasury Department is warning taxpayers not to fall victim to a phone scam, a scam that has already cost some Arizona taxpayers a quarter of a million dollars. It's not a new scam. Someone pretending to be an IRS agent calls a taxpayer and demands immediate payment of their taxes. Experts say don't believe it if you get a call like that. The IRS almost never initiates telephone contact with a taxpayer. If you get a phone call from someone claiming to be an IRS agent, it is almost certainly fake and in fact I've gotten them myself. But at least 400,000 people have received such calls as of late last month and more than 3,100 had fallen victim to the scam for a total loss of 15.6 million dollars according to the Treasury's Inspector General for Tax Administration. Its report said that 71 Arizona residents reported losing $258,000, the 19th highest among the states. And that's just the people who reported the scam to Treasury. Some say over 400,000, it may be even over 600,000. It's just very hard to know because not all the scams are successful and the phone calls are just coming by the tens if not hundreds of thousands from these thieves. Contact the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration if you don't think you owe taxes. Or if you do think you still owe taxes, ask for a callback number and an employee badge number. But SEP says he expects the scamming to continue as long as we have an overly complex tax code. This is a problem with the tax system, not just the tax bureaucracy. SEP says that some victims will panic when they hear the letters IRS at the end of a phone call, but they shouldn't. If you're still unsure about whether or not the IRS meant to contact you, call 1-800-TAX-1040. Live in Washington, see Washington, D.C., Seer Oshrin, Cronkite News. This tax season is also the first with the insurance reporting requirement under Affordable Care Act, which requires almost all Americans to carry health insurance or pay a fine. A recent poll by the Kaiser Family Foundation found that nearly half of Americans were not aware the reporting requirement is now in effect. For most filers, it means checking a box on the tax form stating that they had health insurance all 365 days of 2014. But people who did not have insurance last year will have to pay a tax penalty, $95 per adult and $47.50 per child, or 1% of household income, whichever is greater. That will increase next year to $325 per adult and $161.50 per child, or a 2% of household income for people who don't get coverage this year. Also, people who got financial assistance to pay for their health coverage could end up owing hundreds of dollars if they underestimated their income and got more assistance than they should have. Of more than 120,000 Arizonans who signed up for marketplace coverage last year, about 77% qualified for financial assistance. And taxpayers may be facing another challenge as they hurry to file before the deadline. Your federal tax refund money might take a little longer to get back from the IRS. Budget cuts this year mean that the IRS has to cut back on staff, which could lead to a longer wait for your federal money. But Arizona's Revenue Department says it won't be affected by those cuts. On the state level, you know, the department is not anticipating, you know, any delays or filing issues. Um, we are open for business. For our full multimedia coverage on taxes and pointers for your preparation, you can log on to CronkiteNewsOnline.com.